Digging deeper after NFL Hall of Famer Warren Sapp is busted in the Valley, accused of soliciting a prostitute and assault. One of the alleged victims also charged for failing to have an escort license. ABC 15's Katie Connor digging to find out just what exactly an escort license is and just exactly what it covers. This one had us scratching our heads, Katie. Uh, it has a lot of us still scratching our heads. Here on phoenixbackpage.com, you'll find hundreds of ads from people offering, offering services on their female escort page. Now, Arizona requires every escort to get a license in every city that they work in. But I checked with Phoenix, and they have zero. The lifestyle of an escort. Wealthy men, expensive gifts, and events with the rich and famous. Some call it a mask for prostitution. But defense attorney David Cantor says it's legal. Well, part of it, if you have a license. An escort license was designed for people who are going to escort people to a social event, um, to an entertainment venue or to private quarters, and it not involving sex. Cantor says licenses were created to track escorts. An application is short, just two pages. You have to include your name, address, where you work, and oh yeah, a stage name. People contact us daily. Cantor says he's worked on similar cases to the recent Warren Sapp scandal, where police say Sapp took two escorts back to his hotel room, where there was some fight about money. He Patron says they advertised that they'd come over, implied they would have sex. I gave them $300, and now they're not going to have sex. I asked for my money back, and they tried to leave with my money. The John gets busted for solicitation. The escort gets charged for prostitution and failure to have a license. Sex trafficking experts say these women, though, are usually victims lured into this lifestyle. Having escort services only continues to promote the glamour sides of it. Leah Benson runs Streetlight USA, a nonprofit for victims of child sex trafficking. We've had kids that have been in the escort business. And so these are children under 18 years old, and this shouldn't be. And Phoenix police say they cited at least 20 people for license violations during Super Bowl week. Katie, but that number could go up as detectives continue to work on all these cases. Yeah, sounds like it. Thank you, Katie. Other top